saying things people already know out loud is tight. Avada Kedavra. You park in front of your house, I park in front of my house. This is... Hey, if you don't stop, I will contact the usher. What's up everyone, it's Adam from FWCI. Bruce Stew, the one chip challenge. I had a great idea, uh, which I'm sure I'm gonna regret that I should do the one chip challenge while I'm trying to react to this particular video. I'm not that much of a spicy food. I don't like seek it out. I don't mind a bit of hot sauce every now and then. So I'm definitely not like, you know, uh, I've never had it or anything like that. But this is like one and a half million on the Scoville scale apparently, which is somewhere between like uh, Sauce 9 and the last dab on Hot Ones for those playing at home. So this is going to be wild. Um, before we do it though, my favorite one chip challenge I've ever seen is definitely my main man Shaquille O'Neal on Inside the NBA. I'm going to try and replicate his one chip uh, effort, except then do it better and then react to this video instead. But for those that haven't seen Shaq's one chip challenge, have a look at this. I bet you $20 I'll buy the chip won't even make a face. Bet. All right, Shaq. <laughs> no. Don't want it yet, brother. You must not know what fraternity I'm in. Tell him, Matt. What fraternity are you? Omega Psi Phi. Alright, so he starts ragging on about his fraternity, so I guess I have to do that. Omega Psi Phi. Till we die. Omega Psi Phi. Till we die. It's nothing to me. <laughs> ah. That's my favorite part. Ah. That's, honestly, that's like the whole reason I'm doing this challenge, is so I can go, ah. <laughs> Before I die. <laughs> There's nothing to me. Ah. <laughs> Is that <a> little? <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. So I'm going to do my best Shaquille O'Neal impersonation with this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got some milk. I got some uh, water. And I've got chocolate donuts. Uh, right, a chocolate donut right here because that's what Gordon Ramsay reckons you do. I don't know why the fuck they give you a bag of these. You'll be goddamn lucky if I have one of these pricks. Uh oh, how do I open this shit? Oh, that was like diffusing a bomb. Alright, this is the fucking, this is the shit. There's a whole fucking bag of these things. Back in the box you go. So I got one chip there and an extra one if I feel like going in for seconds, which I don't like. All right, all right. So I'm gonna eat the chip and then go, you know where I went to school? Say a bunch of places that I went to school and then go, there's nothing to me. Ah. After I do the, ah, I think I'll have to hit play on the video and then get into the reaction. Donut, don't fail me now. Oh man, I'm not even gonna touch this shit with my fucking hands. Fuck that. Honestly, I pick this thing up with more caution than I pick up like a spider that I don't know if it's dead or not. Shaq, this one goes out to you. There's nothing to me. You wanna know where I went to school? I went to Salisbury High School and Gola East Primary School. There's nothing to me. Ah. All right. So, uh, well, this story is pretty embarrassing, but I'm gonna tell it anyways. And it's a story about the one chip challenge. And for those of you that don't know what the one chip challenge is, well, it's a single tortilla chip that's supposed to be the spiciest, most hottest tortilla chip in the world. Now, I didn't know anything about it until my wife brought it home from the store one day. Hey, I bought this spicy tortilla chip at Circle K for $9. Isn't that funny? What, you spent $9 on a single tortilla chip? No, that's not funny. <laughs> I gotta say this thing is a little intimidating to look at. I mean, it's packaged in a box that's shaped like a coffin. It's not very promising, but how bad can it be? I mean, I can handle spicy food pretty well. I mean, besides that time I had that extraordinarily hot jalapeno popper at Frickers that one time, and I had to excuse myself from the table before I cried in front of my wife. 
But that was a different story, all right? This is just a single tortilla chip we're talking about. But then one of our friends came over later that day, and he seen it on the counter and was like, whoa, is that the one chip challenge? Who's the fucking idiot that's about to eat that? Uh, well, I was thinking about doing it. Why, is it really hot? Really hot? Huh. Well, let me just say that the heat is not the worst part about it. Well, with that cryptic ass statement, I was in no what? hurry to do the one chip challenge. So that chip sat on the counter for a good, oh, I don't know, eight months or so. That is until one day I made a little wager with one of our kids. And yes, side note, we do have kids. I don't like to bring them up in these shitty cartoons because, well, they're all over the internet and uh, there's a bunch of weirdo perverts out there. But with that being said, it's all their fucking fault that I ate this goddamn thing. Because you see, I made a bet that I would do the one chip challenge if a certain child sacked the quarterback at his next football game. Well, wouldn't you know his little ass went all Michael Strahan the following Sunday, and now I'm in the kitchen staring down a fucking tortilla chip. And of course, everybody's crammed in the kitchen staring at me like I'm some... This is fucking hell, by the way. Ugh kind of circus act, but I was still pretty confident at this point. I can handle hot stuff. I've chewed a stick of big red gum before. How much spicier can it be? Made with Carolina Reapers. Carolina Reapers? That sounds like a fucking XFL football team. I'm not a... Well, this thing looks like a dried up triangle. Ugh. And to prove it, here's a video of me eating it. And to my surprise, it fucking tastes like a triangular dried up dog turd. It is the nastiest thing I've ever tasted. And to prove it, here's a video of me eating it. And to my surprise, it fucking tastes like a triangular dried up dog turd. It is the nastiest thing I've ever tasted in my life. It was so bad, I felt like they should have had a warning on the box like, caution. This thing tastes like the roof of somebody's asshole. So like 15 seconds go by, and I have no heat whatsoever. I start thinking, ah, maybe I got a dud. Maybe it's expired. Did I wait too long? And what the hell happened? And just when I thought that... He say 15 minutes? What the fuck? Oh god, I can't breathe. Somebody get me a goddamn glass of milk! Needless to say, this chip is hotter than a stick of fucking big red gum, that's for sure. It is the hottest thing I've ever had in my life. At this point, everybody in the kitchen is just concerned about my general well-being. Here I am at the sink, trying to hold it together, and trying not to fucking cry like the Frickers incident all over again. Now, thankfully, the heat only lasts for about 15 minutes or so. So once you hit that 15 minute mark, you're in the clear. Or so I thought. Because what I found out is that the heat doesn't go away, it just moves on down to your stomach. So now it feels like this goddamn chip is just hanging out down there, melting my insides with a hair dryer. Well, now how am I gonna solve this conundrum? Well, I'll tell you what I did. I fucking ate an ice cream cone. Seemed like a good idea at the time. It seemed like that ice cream cone would go down there and start beating that chip's ass. And that seemed to be the case. Didn't do, do that, because I i don't have any ice cream, but I'm tempted to go out. Until my stomach was like... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, apparently that ice cream cone wasn't beating the chip's ass. It was fucking playing patty cake with it instead. Now, all of a sudden, I get these stomach pains out of nowhere. And they are debilitating. I'm laying on the couch, making my peace with God. Take me! Take me now! Pretty, pretty, please! Now, eventually, dinner time rolls around. And on this particular night, we were just so happy to have a big old pan of lasagna. Now, I know what you're thinking. He wouldn't eat lasagna on top of an ice cream cone, on top of a bunch of milk with a fucking devil chip inside of him. That wouldn't make any sense. Well, you're wrong, because I ate a big-ass fucking plate of it. My stomach at this point was like, Oh, what the fuck? What, are you trying to ruin us? I'd have a better chance of digesting a fucking alarm clock than any of this shit. So I eat a thick-ass piece of lasagna. And to my surprise, the stomach cramps go away. Oh, my God, it's over. I did it. But wait a minute, there's more. Uh, a lot more? So much more. Because at this point, the chip transfers over to my intestines, and my intestines were like, uh, no thank you, you can go fuck yourself with that, and promptly sends it right to my asshole. Now, I don't know if you've ever had the pleasure of an on-fire butthole before, but let me tell you, it's not as fun as it sounds. For the next I do my best to avoid it, that's why I don't eat Indian food. 45 minutes, my ass transforms into like a fucking malfunctioning flamethrower. Fuck! <laughs> Of course it's noisy as hell in there. There's no way I could be discreet at this point. <laughs> Sounds like there's fucking 14 people taking a shit at once in there. Um, are you all right? Should I call the cops? The whole time I'm sitting there, all I can think about is, oh, that's why they put the chip in a coffin, because the coffin is for your asshole afterwards. Now I get it. So after a very unpleasant, very emotional trip to the bathroom, it's finally over. And I'm so pissed off at this point, I'm just like yelling a stream of obscenities at the toilet, taking all my anger out on it. Fuck you, you fucking punk ass tortilla chip. I hope you shit fucking fireballs out of your fucking crooked asshole, you fucking fuck! Um, maybe you guys should go play Nintendo or something. So, uh, that's the one chip challenge for anybody that's interested. I highly recommend it, especially if you have a good eight hours that you just can't find anything to do. Clear out an afternoon because it's not so much the one chip challenge, it's more like the one chip all fucking day ordeal.
but I did survive it. <laughs> and more importantly, I understand why the heat is not the worst part of the whole goddamn thing. The end. Fucking thanks, man. BruceDude.com. You don't want to hear any of that. My tongue still feels like it's on fire. I won't lie. But I think I'm through the worst part. I don't know if I'm through the worst part. We'll have to wait and see. I'm not going to be providing updates on how this goes, um, especially if my asshole turns into a fire gun. A gun that shoots fire. Whatever he said on here. Mmm, teeth are hot. This donut went down a treat. Shout out to Balfour's. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I would love to sit here and say that I relate to it, but from the sounds of things, I don't know if I'm going to relate to it until later on this evening. But let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this one. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, I got reactions to Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Ted Lasso, Budget Movies, Ghostbusters, Morbius. Go watch my Morbius reaction when it comes out because uh, I spend the entire movie waiting for him to say it's Morbin time because I thought that's what he was going to say. I thought that was like, I thought it happened. I thought that line was from the movie and it never happened. And if you remember in the after credit, he checks his fucking watch and then I was like, oh, it's Morbin time. It was not Morbin time. So go enjoy my disappointment to the movie Morbius. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.